que esta culiación ha brindado a, a los estudiantes de Honduras de Carolina ha sido que hemos vivido las historias de tantas personas diversas, no solamente de, de una comunidad, sino tantas comunidades se han unido para, para poder alzar sus voces y que todas hemos escuchado de la misma vez. Anytime I can speak truth to power, right? People who have been elected to serve us in a manner that's supposed to benefit us, I'm all in. I wanted to work with this coalition who is very clearly not just funding equity, but prioritizing racial equity in education and walking what they, what they talk about. You know, when you think about schools and, and lack of resources being funneled into schools and the inequities that are then compounded because of that, it actually fits their narrative if schools are failing. So if they hold back funding, they can keep sitting in the General Assembly and passing laws that allow them to funnel public dollars into private schools or charter schools. Oh, yo vine este tipo de trabajo porque creciendo en las escuelas públicas de Norte Carolina me di cuenta de todas las injusticias que había para mi comunidad y especialmente para mis compañeros que no tenían el privilegio de ser ciudadano como yo. Vi que no, uh, no tenían esas mismas capacidades, aunque tenían el mismo pot potencial. So we're the elephant not in the room. So when something bad happens to a kid with a disability, what happens to them is usually they get pushed off to a regional program, right? They don't always show up in your general classroom because we don't have the resources to put them there. They should be in your classrooms, and when they're not, that's a failure on our General Assembly to support their needs and give them the resources that they need. Honestly, I believe there's people who just don't care about black and brown families and students, that they see us as um, throwaways, that something that shouldn't be invested in. So to keep back funding that could benefit these communities also speaks to their lack of interest and disinterest in seeing our communities and our students thrive. There's a real moment of people recognizing that um, being a bystander isn't enough and that being an active participant in change is so much more important. And so for me, the work that this coalition is doing and is going to continue to do um, will bring even more people into that conversation and into the advocacy space. When schools were fully integrated, the, concept, or the idea behind it was that all students would have access to all resources. But in reality, what we saw was that schools just became, one school became two separate schools. Students lost a lot more um, opportunities than they had initially had because more barriers were presented. What we're talking about now, specifically with Every Child in C and Leandro funding, it is very indicative of how things have not changed for a lot of students and the fact that they need to change and that that specific part about access to resources to allow all students to have the access to equal opportunities um, is what we should really be focusing on in the work.